the man was trying to keep um, telling the judge, order him to like pay, or order him to sign something, or order him to. Did you did you explain yeah, all that? And basically, uh, the uh, when I was telling you before, yeah, the uh, judge just because we'd already filed a Queen's Bench claim for extortion because they kept saying to us, you know, you better pay this, you better pay this, and thinking, hang on, what do you mean you better pay this or what? And they were saying, well, we'll take a freezing order, we'll take your house, we'll take this, we'll take that. And we're thinking, that just sounds like extortion, man. And I, I um, remember writing a letter for the guy and I said, you know, that, that's an interesting letter that you just wrote there, but it just sounds like extortion. Now, you yeah. say that you're a solicitor, but no solicitor would ever write that kind of sick shit. So are you sure you're a solicitor? And then she wrote back and said, yes, I am, and I'm going to get a freezing order, and I'm going to get this, that, and, you know, and then I wrote back and said, well, that's fine, then I'll have to make my claim of extortion because you're just making extortion. You're trying to break my legs and now take some money out of me. And, um, but that, that was part yeah, of the big thing. Go, the big thing when you go from that route from now on, Bali, is tell them that you do know I, have, I am not a member of the legal society. I am not a defendant. You do not have any authority or control over me. You do know you are communicating with a man. Yep. Okay, from now on, make sure you... A that woman, can... she she just totally did not listen to anything whatsoever. It doesn't matter. She had she quite knows. a few exchanges. No, 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 no. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying she's going to listen to anything. Oh, because... yeah, yeah, we wrote, oh, wrote that right at the beginning. <laughs> but it's no, no, because like I said... Later, it, she it, just it, totally didn't listen. <laughs> what I'm saying to you, it's not... She, okay, as soon as you call... Okay, this is what I tell people all the time. They are not going to listen to you unless you use certain key words. They don't hear you. There's nothing for them to hear. There's certain key words that they it's say... you saying that if I wrote um, that I'm not part of the legal society... Right. I'm an idiot. Right. It's sent them the definition... That's what I wrote on the first letter. Right. And did I still you, wrote seven, at, le seven letters later. Did, she just at, didn't listen. Did, at, did you say... Okay. Then you said but that you're... I say, she's an unusual character because normally when I write it, people actually listen. <laughs> This woman didn't listen. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> I, I know we got five hours, but you're going to get tired. <laughs> Dude, what I'm trying to say is, when I write to somebody and I say, I'm an idiot, I'm a man, I'm not within your legal society, I'll say, see Exhibit A. I'll attach something that shows exactly what the word idiot means. Now, I guarantee you, you didn't put an attachment on there that said... No, I didn't. I didn't. She's, thinking, she's thinking you're saying you're stupid, you're dumb, you're ignorant. And it literally means only one thing. She's using the lovely legally system, which is called synonyms. And in proper law, there is no synonyms. When you use a word, it only means one thing and one thing only. It doesn't kind of mean something like this. It's Perfect. not good law. It can only mean one thing. So if you tell Perfect. her I'm an idiot, you ask her, do you know what that means, lady? And if she says, yeah, it means you're stupid, I said, okay, lady, here we go. You have no effing clue. Where's your supervisor? Who is somebody else that I could communicate with because you have no idea what the word idiot means? And this is coming from an idiot, and you don't know, lady. So what, that, what does that make you? Yeah, if she, you think, she was the partner. <laughs> partner so obviously, partner. you need to go some above her. Obviously, you're wasting your time <laughs> trying to communicate with her because obviously she has no comprehension of the word. Yep. And it's just like what the judge did in, uh, back in December. I said that one of the first things he said is most bombastic, idiotic. I said, good, idiot, we're going home. He called you a bunch <laughs> of idiots, we're going home. He doesn't call you in, when the in, judge was, uh, he was picking up on the words left, right, and center, and he was just holding his head in his hands. He was like, oh, my God, this is just, oh, oh, no, this is just a messed up. And because he'd already been uh, told that, you know, you want to be a party of that claim, you want to be a defendant over there, then you do it. You mess this around. You want to start filing um, freezing orders on his property, then that's fine. But if we have to bear the burden, it's going to be cost this much. But whoever that is, in, whichever man that is in the court, you know, that's up to you. You know, we can't stop you. That's what's going to come.